Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nashley and today's video we are giving this clock this makeover. So if you're interested in how to do that, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this is what we're working with. It has a few imperfections here and there, and its texture is almost like sandpaper. It's rough, so I'm thinking that the color would stick perfectly, so I'm really not going to touch it. I'm going to leave it as is. I am removing the hands to the clock by unscrewing this little screw and gently removing the hands. They are bendable and just very fragile, so be careful. I am using Valsper cabinet paint in natural tan. This is the same color I use to do my media console makeover and I like it because it's light but it's not white so I love this color and it goes on super opaque. I do think that rough texture the clock had um, helped the paint go on nicely but um, this is a good paint so I do recommend it. And as you can see, all I'm doing is using a foam roller to apply the paint because I like the way it spreads the paint onto the surface. It's super even and not textured. So I recommend using a foam roller if you're looking to apply paint without leaving brush strokes or some kind of texture behind. I am also making sure to paint the outer rim of the clock because it is still green and I want to make sure the whole clock is white. Once the paint dried, I went in with a second coat, again with the same foam roller brush, and just applied an even coat on top of the first coat. I'm gonna say this many times during this video, but this makeover is so simple, yet so satisfying because it totally brightened up my space. This is the second coat on and I'm just gonna let this puppy dry. Okay, I'm gonna need you guys to ignore the knobs that are on here. I thought that it would look good, but I don't think I like it, so I actually ended up not using the knobs at all. So now all I'm doing is being very careful because these hands, again, they bend very easily. And I'm just trying to fix it because I think I bent it a little bit out of place. And all I'm doing is putting it back together, screwing it in, and making sure that when the hands go around the clock that they're not going to get stuck with each other because they, they bent. So that's what I'm doing here. And that is really it. It is super simple, super quick. It made such a huge difference in my living room. And I know I have to paint those patches, so I will, but that's for another day. Please like this video, comment down below if you thought this was super easy, and of course, subscribe to my channel. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.